Hi again, we have reached this exercise for the length of the longest ascending sequence of characters and this is one of the most difficult exercises here in the series so it counts five stars so you may uh, pay an extra attention in solving this problem so we need to write a program that reads an integer n and ask the user so to enter the n character so for example if the an example here so if, if we the, end, the user enters 11 it means he will enter 11 characters and then we will calculate the length of the longest ascending sequence of characters and the position of its first character so example let for example if the user enters the following sequence so we should display that the uh, longest sequence is it contains five characters and it begins at position four so let's see how we will do that because it's not that easy so the user will enter 11 characters however at the end i need to display the length of the longest character and the position of the first character so the user will enter character one char character at a time so first he will enter a so for now a is the longest uh, sequence because i don't know what's coming next so this is the program not the the, the program won't look at all the character he, he will not know what the user will enter so it will uh, uh, treat each element at its own so for, for now the longest sequence so i need to save somewhere that the sequence now the longest sequence starts from the first element so the the position is equal to one and its size is equal to one because at later on i maybe i will get more sequences with longer uh, 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 size elements so for now current position so the first the is equal to one it means the uh, uh, the position of the longest sequence starts from 1 and its size is equal to 1 and then I'll have E so I need to, to compare E with A so we know that lexicographically capital letters comes before the small letters so A is still ascending in terms of ASCII code so E comes after A in the ASCII code so we're still in this longest sequence so now we need to compare E and A. However, when, when when I'm reading, when I'm scanning, I'm using the same character. So first, C would be equal to A, and later on, C would be equal to E. So again, I need to save the oldest value of the character. So this is also a trick here. So I need to save the oldest value in order to compare E with the oldest value of C, which was equal to A. So here, we, we, we see that it's E is greater than A. So we just need to increment the size of the sequence because, because we are still in the longest sequence. And then we get C. In C, it's not uh, a, a longest uh, sequence because C, it comes before E. So the sequence for now, so this is for now the longest sequence. And we should now start with a new sequence. So whenever we want to, to start with a new sequence so we will have to compare we need to save because for now because we have reached a new sequence and we don't know yet if what's coming next so maybe this one would be greater so i need to save that for now the maximum sequence it contains two elements and it starts from one so look at the numbers of variables that we will be using so i repeat the user will enter just characters one character at a time so i will enter just c so i will save the character in c so i need for each sequence the current position where it starts and its size and again i need the maximum so because i need to compare whenever i i, I switch to a new sequence i need to compare if the current uh, the previously current sequence it's the max or not so i need also the maximum sequence the number and where it starts so whenever i reach c here i need it means that i switch to a new sequence so i need to see if the last sequence was the maximum or not so since it's the first sequence of, of course it will be the maximum so i will save that this size is equal to one and it starts then one so this is c in c so the current sequence it will start from uh, one to three and its size of course it will be equal to one and again i will read another number i will read d however while reading d d is less than c so the sequence of c finished finished so I compare the size here is one, however the size here is two. So forcibly this, sorry, so forcibly this is not a maximum sequence. And I will start with D. So D, its size, it will be equal to one. And the starting position, it will be equal to four. And then I will get the element K. So K is uh, greater than D 
because k is a small letter so the size will increment by 2 l is greater than k size equal to 3 and 4 p 5 and then I will get a small a so whenever I'm getting a small a I need to move that it's not moving so whenever I'm getting an A here, it means that I'm having a new sequence. So I will compare those values with those ones. So of course the size here is bigger. So the maximum now is this sequence. So I will say that the maximum sequence starts from 4 and its size is equal to 5. And then I move to, C, to, to this the 1. So the size now is equal to 1 and it starts from uh, 9. So it starts from 9. And then I will get a C. So C is greater than A is equal to 2. And I will get a D. So D finished because D is less than uh, C. So here size equal to 2. However, I have a size of equal to 5. So of course this one is not a big. And then I will read D. I will read so size it will be equal to 1. And it starts from 11. So and then the user won't enter anything. So I need to compare this one also. So after looping, after the end of the loop, I need also to compare it with the maximum, which is size equal to 5. At the end, I will find that the maximum is equal to 5. I just need to print those stuff, the maximum size and the maximum start. So what I advise you now is to uh, repeat the video. So uh, scroll the bar to the beginning and uh, repeat it one, two, three times in order to understand all the variables that you are using and then if you understand it now, you can move with me to the solution. So, we need an n, so n should be a positive integer. So, later on, I will add all these uh, variables that we will be using. So, do print f enter n and scan f percentage d, add this of n, and n should be. Uh, uh, at least not one huh? so it shouldn't be equal to zero so if it's equal less or equal to zero I need to repeat so the user should enter as you have seen here a number of elements so he needs to enter 11 elements however for the first character for the first character so we need to read it outside the loop why because we need to initialize those stuff because I will not compare it with some within a character before it so there is no characters before this element. So I need to directly start a new sequence. So I cannot do it in the loop because in the loop always I will be comparing a, a character with a previously with the previously read character. So for that we will do it uh, uh, outside the loop just for the first character. So I will ask the user enter percentage d characters. So d would be equal to n. And then I will need for the first character. So this is just for the first character. So I'll scan F here percentage C. Let's call it a C. So the character is C. So I need to declare here a char C. So, and as I have said, so at first we have something called current position and size. So for each, the, 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 the sequence that we are currently treating, manipulating, so it have two stuff the current position and the size and of course we will need to save the previously read character in order to compare it in the while loop so let's start so we need a current position so it's the position of the currently uh, 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 the sequence so it's an integer we need its size so we'll call it also current size so the current size of course it would be equal to 1 because we have just one a character and the size of the sequence for now is equal to one and I will need a character called all that I will keep always the oldest character so here it's the first character now I can loop over the rest of the character so for i equal to two so we need an integer i for the loop so I'm starting for two because I have already dealt with the uh, first uh, character and I need to scan a C. So I'll be doing exactly the same. So I re I'm reading the character and now I need to check. So if the character that I'm reading now C is greater than the old, it means that we are in the same sequence. So I need to just increment the size. If it's, 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 it's not 
uh, if it's it's the newly character is less than the oldest character so here we need to check the size so if the size is the newly current current size is greater than the maximum it means that i need to modify otherwise i will just reinitialize the current position and the size so let's do that so i'm reading the character and then i will compare it with the old so if c is less than old it means that i'm still in the uh, c it means I'm starting in a new uh, subsequence, so I need to do some stuff. Otherwise, if, if it means that C is greater than all, it means I'm in the still in the same sequence, I just need to increment the size. So the current size of this would be equal to plus plus, just that. And what I should do here. So here I should compare the size. So let's compare the size. If current size, so I need also here the maximum size and the uh, maximum position so let's call it uh, maximum size and maximum position so uh, let's initialize those to some va some values so uh, let's say that the position so uh, it couldn't be for example equal to minus one so i initialize it let's place it here I will place it first to equal to a minus one so we'll never have a position equal minus one and the size let's call it also so I, I could never have a, a sequence of size a minus one also you can put for example int min or any smaller value for example but not not one not two maybe zero or it, it works also but of course not a positive number so so if current size is greater of the maximum size so the first time which is always the case like our case so at first when we are switching the maximum is equal to 2 as we have seen so whenever the current size so i need to save those values so in maximum size i will save the current uh, the maximum position i will save the current position where it started the position so in our case it's one and the maximum uh, size it will be equal to current size and of course i need to reinitialize in both cases if it's maximum or not i need to reinitialize both these values so the current size would be equal to one because i'm starting a new sequence and the current position is the position of the number which is equal to i here so this is the case where i need to i'm switching from case to case however i need to save the old so in all cases i need at the end i need to save the uh, oldest c so c became an also in order in the on the next iteration i'm comparing this stuff so I, I need also not to forget that when i'm exiting the loop i need to check the last sequence because at the last sequence here when i'm reading uh, d so okay i'm comparing it with the before one so i have a new sequence i'm starting a new sequence however i need to compare it with uh, the ending so uh, when, when i'm out of the loop i need to check the last sequence because i, I i'm not checking it inside the uh, loop so when i'm out again i need to check d so if the current sequence current size is uh, greater than the maximum size i just need to save those values so this is very important especially for the last sequence maybe the last sequence is the maximum one so i need not to forget to check it so at the end, so I don't need to re to reinitialize the current size and position because there's no more sequences. At the end, I will print F. So I'll copy paste this one, and in order to have the same output. So the longest sequence is of here. I will display the size, and it begins at position. I will display the position, and here. So we have the maximum size, and we have the maximum position. So let's run this. Uh, program and see what if we have some errors so 11 and then we need to enter directly 11 characters so a e c capital d k l n p a lost connection to the server okay let's rerun it again eleven Capital A, E, C, capital D, K, L, N, P, A, C, and capital D. So, we will end the longest sequence is of five characters. It begins at position five. So, why we have five here? However, we should have four. 
so we have a problem so in the code there's nothing wrong so however there's a trick here and you need to pay a lot of attention so what i will do is that in order to i will not just tell you the solution or the the problem i will just make some print app in order to check what is happening here so i will let you i will print the character c so i will print the character c in order to check the characters that we are dealing with so i print just the c in the sequence so after reading you will you will see that what's happening in the c so uh, let's write i will put some stars and c equal percentage c also two stars and backslash n and i will print the c so this is for uh, the first character and here after scanning i will do that and let's run and see what's happening so I re-enter the same sequence. So look, directly, even before before entering a character, there's a, there's an empty character. And it's not an empty character, it's a back to the line. There's a backslash n. Because look, from where he, go, he got this, so there's a here percentage c, and there's a backslash to the line. So let me write all this. So a, e, c, d, k, l, n, p, a, c, d. So we will have some outputs. So, and look, in the iteration, I'm not looking at D, I'm skipping D. So, the problem is here, it's from the beginning. It's from Y, it's from D, because here, I've entered 11 and backslash N, 11 and enter. So, backslash N is a character. So, the problem is, is, is in this part. So, because in scanf, I have just uh, got the number and I have then a character in the input. So... Uh, before when we when we were reading for example two uh, numbers and there's enter between each other so the program needs two numbers so for for that he ignores the characters he ignores the enters and the spaces however here he needs a character and he and he find he found that there's a character here which is backslash n so what i can do that is that i need to swallow this backslash n so what i can do is that i ask the user to enter a number and and enter the character enter so let us repeat that I will rerun that. I will enter 11. So he needs now 11 and enter. In the scan F, he needs the enter. And now he needs to enter. We need to enter the 11 character. So we are waiting for the character. So I need to enter 11 character. So let's enter it. A, E, C, D. K L N P A C D and now we have it correct because we need the 11 character. However, in this solution, as you have seen, there is always we are waiting always for for something to enter to 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 print in order to uh, launch the solution. So in the solution on the website, uh, I wrote here, you have to pay attention here because we need a backslash and so this is the solution for this difficult exercise. So you may need to repeat it multiple times uh, because this is one of the most important exercises in uh, using just loops. So this is it for this exercise. If you have any questions or clarifications, do not hesitate to drop me a message and I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.